Okay, after we've gone through the important formulas behind AP and GP, now let us try one example. This is an example of how we apply to AP, right? So the question says the sum of the first 20 terms of AP is 50. So let's draw it out. So we have the first term, second term, all the way to the 20th term. Alright, the first statement is saying that I add the first term to the second term to the third term all the way to the 20th term, add up together, my sum is 50. Okay? Followed by the sum of the next 20 terms is minus 50. And so what this statement is trying to say that the keyword is next, that means the next 20 terms after the 20 terms in front. So we have the 21st terms, 22nd, all the way until the 40th term. That means the question is saying that summing from 21st to the 40th term is minus 50. Okay? That's what the statement is trying to say. And finally, the question is find the sum of the first 100 terms. In other words, they want you to find the sum from here all the way to here, 100. The question why you want you to find the sum of the total terms here. Okay? And so, how do we solve this question? And to solve this question, we need to think of the formula that we just gone through, which is the sum of the first n terms for the AP is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay? This is the sum of the first n terms of AP, the formula. Mm -hmm. And so, let's generate the first equation. We know that the sum of the first 20 term is 50. And so, S20 equals to... So I replace my n by, my n by 20, right? Because there are 20 terms in total. So I'll get 20 over 2, 2a plus sub 20 inside, so I'll get 20 minus 1d. Okay, I'll just apply the formula only. I'm just replacing my n by 20. And we know that the sum of the first 20 term is 50. So this whole thing is 50 equals to, let's simplify this. So we will get 10 bracket 2a plus 19d. This is the first equation. Okay? Remember, we have two unknowns, and so to solve our two unknowns, we will need two equations. Okay? So now we need to generate the second equation. And now I would like to share with you a very, very common mistake that a lot of students make. The sum from here to here is minus 50, right? A lot of students, you actually write this. S40 equals to minus 50. And what is wrong with this statement? Okay, the thought is S40 stands for the sum of the first 40 terms. Alright, that means summing from here to here. Which is incorrect because the question says that I'm summing from here to here. Alright, the 21st to the 40th term and not from here to here. Okay, so this is wrong. And so what should we do? We should actually put S40 summing from here to here minus the way summing from here to here. Correct? Because summing from here to here minus the way from here to here, I will get here to here. Okay? And so S40 minus S20, I will get minus 50. This should be the correct way. Okay? And so now it's just a matter of applying the formula again. So I start 40 inside, I'll get 40 over 2, 2a plus 40 minus 1d. And my S20 is 50, right? Sum of first 20 terms is 50. Equals to minus 50. And this is my second equation. Okay? So now I got two equations and two unknowns, I can just it's just a matter of solving simultaneous equation. So after you solve simultaneous equation, I don't, I don't want to go through the step because I'm sure you are competent enough to solve simultaneous. You will get A equals to 39 over 8. 
That means the first term is the linear over 8 and the difference is minus 1 over 4. Uh, of course, these are not the, the most, uh, this is not the most prettiest number you've ever seen, but it's okay. Okay, so we have two, we have two, uh, we have solved for A and D's really. These are the two numbers. And so now we can solve the question. They ask you to find the sum of the first 100 terms. And so, S100 is what you need to find, right? So you get 100 over 2, 2A, A is 39 over 8, plus 100 minus 1B. Okay? So I just sum in the, the values. And after summing the values, you will get minus 750. And that's it. So this is how you solve this AP question. Thank you.